Hi, welcome back to my channel. Last time I filmed, I set up my Hobonichi weeks, and here's last week in my Hobonichi cousin, and now I'm gonna set up my Hobonichi cousin for this week. It is already Monday, so I need to get this set up so that I can use it this week and put in today's activities. So I'm gonna start with my washi stickers. Put these down at the bottom and the top. So let's pull these up. This is Easter week. And it's also my spring break from school. So I only have one class to teach in the morning and I'm all, I took Monday and Tuesday off, but I only have one class to teach. And um, that's my sixth grade class for the for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But like I said, I took those two days off so that I would have a little bit of a vacation. Otherwise, I would not have had one. So I'm gonna put these down. I'm gonna trim this one. Grab my wish card. I guess not everybody has the hoping. I don't know. Ugh, that does not want to tear. Come on now, I'm gonna get a straighter edge. Grab one of my rulers, see if that helps. That tape does not want to tear. <laughs> fail, fail, epic fail. <laughs> Cannot use a washi cutter on this. You must actually cut it. So we will do that. I'm not going to be perfectly straight because of that, but we will do what we can. And I'll save that little piece in case I want to use it. I guess this is that. Oh, yeah, these are those like plasticky stickers, even though they're matte on the front. They're matte, so you can ride on them easier, which is nice, but they do not tear. So just be aware of that. They also do not pull up. <laughs> so. All right, so now we got the washi down. Let's see if they have any days of the week because I haven't used one of these in a while. They do, they have this particular stuff here to cover up my date stickers. So let's see, I think I came across a partial number thing somewhere. So let me see if I can find that again. I may have these days on that number sheet. So bear with me for one second. Because I feel like I came across that on accident today. People. Bear with me to flip through these in just a second. I think I had a partial number sheet in here. Flip through these. Because I feel like I saw it sometime today when I was setting up my traveler's notebook. Which if you guys want to flip through my traveler's notebook, let me know. I don't have all of these numbers. But I feel like I don't want to like break them up when I had a partial, I felt like. So let me see if I can find that. Because I came across it somewhere today. If it's not in here, then it must have been somewhere else. But I know I came across it today. And I feel like these were the numbers particularly that were on it. So bear with me while I'm trying to locate where that was. So how is your day going? Are you having a nice day today are you off for spring break this week what is it looking like for you okay i'm going to pull this drawer out here you guys can look through my little scraps with me because again i feel like i came across some partial numbers in here somewhere that i had used a few numbers off of but like the rest of the numbers were available I mean, I do have a lot of number stickers, so it's not like it would be a, you know, terribly sad thing if I used some of them, but I was trying to use the partial one. So bear with me still, please, as I'm looking through these drawers, because these are the only three drawers that I look through today. So if I could find it in one of these three drawers, then I should be good. So 
That is odd because I swear I did come across some partial number stickers that had like these particular numbers on it. Um, where would it have been? I'm trying to think to myself, where would I have come across that? Bear with me for one second. I'm trying to figure that out. Where did I see that? Maybe this up here? Pull that out because those seem to match. Where did I see the partial numbers? It had to be up here. It had to be. There's no option of it not being one of these. Give me just a second. I promise there's a purpose for this and I will find that number of stickers. So anyway, so I set up my traveler's notebook today. So I'm looking and I'll tell you how that happened. Um, Cause I've been wanting a travel's notebook for a while just to check it out, see how it works. So I got myself one. I'll give you a little flip through if you want one. Um, and that was pretty much what I was doing today was setting that up. And then I spent some time with my husband since I'm off on spring break. Fall the floor. Cause I know I saw that. Again, I'm talking to myself. Um, you ever done that? Like you know factually that you have something and then you just can't find it? Because I know I saw those sheet, that sheet. I know I did, I did not lose my mind. I mean, I might have lost my mind, but I know still factually that I saw that sheet. The losing the mind part is still a possibility though. But um, yeah, so I set my travelers up my first week up. Actually, I back planned. I didn't do this current week. I did last week because I wanted to try it out with a full week just to see how my style would look in it. And um, I'll show you that um, at the end of this video if you're interested. You can check it out. If not, you can just stop watching after this. Okay, y'all are killing me because I know I have those partial stickers. And the second that I pull them off of another sheet, I'm going to find those partial numbers. I just know. So they're not here. Um, again, I'm flipping through here just to make sure. Because I know I saw those. And I'm just thinking they might have dropped them. They might have got stuck somewhere. Put these back. Put this back. Actually, I'm going to put this in the drawer with the other stuff that it goes with. Where did I put those partial number stickers? Who knows? Right? So, you'll just see me for just a second flip through some things because I'm trying to get my shiz together. Because I was using these and I saw them. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna use these because this might be the right numbers. And then it wasn't the right numbers. So what did I do with them? Did I set them up more random? I must have lost my mind. Because I cannot find them. And I want to put numbers on these instead of use a pen. And I'm still standing here like that I magically am going to find them somewhere. The only other thing I opened was that. Did I open the function? Is that where I found them? No. That would have been where I would have found something. It had to have been here. Or there. That just says one tag for that. And then there was a partial number sticker. Let me look down here. I have one more place I can look. So let me see. One more place I can look. It might be in here. Because I did pull these sheets out to work on it. But I mean, like, none of these have any numbers on them. They might, though, because I remember some of my planner Kate having numbers. Yep, look. There's like little pink numbers right here. 
I knew my Plunder Kate had numbers. These numbers match. Do you think these numbers would match? Let's use those. I'm gonna make sure I don't have any other numbers that would be useful. Like there are some numbers on this one. I'm just continuing to look, so bear with me. I don't know if I like the blue numbers though. But that does lead me to believe that there may be more numbers. Just looking through my funner cape to see if I see more numbers. I see these really large numbers here. Let's see, it's 20. Let's use these really large ones. I like those actually. Not going to lie, those are very cute. Okay, so we have the choice of these blue numbers, which could go in there. They will fit, I think. But I'm not really feeling the blue. We have these pink numbers, which I have used some of them of. It looks like I lost the 26 somewhere. Apparently. So this isn't out because I need the 26. Looks like I dropped it off. So that's not it. So maybe we'll just use these large ones here. But they are very large. So I think we're going to revert back to the blue ones, which I did not really want to use, but we will. They will match just the same. There is blue in this kit. So, let's see. We have a 1. Let's see, we need a 25. We still had a set of half numbers somewhere. I don't know where those are. 25. I think these are actually going to look really cute. If I can get it off of the sticker. 25. six and I just know that the second that I stick these down I'm gonna find those like little number sticker somewhere you know what I literally just did but I'm missing those numbers anyway so I don't have to feel bad about it now I just remember where that I had them okay so I feel better about life um 27 I know that was a lot of rambling in the beginning, so I apologize for that. Feel free to skip through it. I won't feel bad. Today is just a little scatterbrained. Today, 28. Let's see. Twenty-nine. Those are very cute now that I put them on there because they're clear. The other ones were white, so they would have covered up some of the kit. And here is 30 and 31. Here we go. So I'm excited that I was able to use that. Now, these are all my scratch stickers, my scratch, my scratch stickers, so to speak. So that's what I'm trying to like use them up and then I have these that I can decorate for this time if I need them. I'm gonna keep my scrap stickers out just in case I needed something else random. So let's put these down. Let's see. They don't cover 100% well. Um, they're a little bit off, I guess because of where they cut. They see they have a little border. I really needed the border extended a little so that it would actually cover everything up. It doesn't quite either have to pick the top line to cover up or the bottom line. You can't really cover up both of them. If I would have known that, I would have scooted the washi up more. So that it would have covered up the bottom block line. But it still works, nonetheless. We'll make do. Okay, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm gonna pull them all off.
I still have not done my nails. I need to do my nails. That's gonna go on my to-do list for this week. <laughs> I've got to do my nails. And Sunday. Okay, so let's see. I'm not working this week except for Wednesday. I'm working from eight till nine. So I'll go ahead and grab something pink and highlight. I've got a lot more mild liners than that. I mean, mild liners. I mean, um, combo than I did have. So I'm going to need to check a few of them because I'm not really sure what color matches anymore. So that one does not match at all. It does like really doesn't match. Mm, does not match really. I mean, it's not horrible, but it doesn't match. I'm hoping to find a pink one. That's more like peach than pink. That is for sure peach. Well, it looks like I don't have a shade of pink that matches perfectly. So let's try that green color or blue. Hmm. Which color do we like better? Let's try this blue one right here and see if it matches. I'm picking the ones that the lids match, but they don't really match in person. <laughs> it's like I can pick whatever color lid I want, but they don't match that well. That one's real close. Let me see. Yep, let's use this one. This is 553, in case you have the same kit. We'll use this one for work. So I need to highlight here. Work. Work and work. And I'll grab three work stickers. I'm just gonna reach over and grab three. Work. And I'll only be working until like, actually I'm probably not gonna write anything down because I'm gonna try to sub these days. It's Monday. Or is today Tuesday? No, today's Monday. I'm going to try to work tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. Um, but I'm going to try to sub tomorrow because they just changed their sub pay. And I'm highly interested in making more money subbing. So, um, I don't have class. I'll try to sub. So, I'll put the weekend sticker down. Let's see what else we've got. I'm going to move the, those out of the way. So I can't really plan a whole lot of things because I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I'm going to use this little piece of sticker right here. See if I can find a this week sticker. How do they not have a sticker that says this week? Or to do. Let me see if I have one. Myself. Because I have. Lots of these random stickers on here. So let me see if I can find one that says something like this week. Borrow with me while I'm flipping through these. Don't have any of these that say this week. Here we go. This week. Works perfect. I'll put this right on top of here. A little bit crooked. See if I can get it up. Okay, there we go. Let's see if they have any kind of checklist. We do. We have all these little cutesy little checklists. So I'm gonna pick one of these long ones just in case with peeps on it. Since it's Easter week, these are super cute. I'll just stick these down. And then if we have to write something down for that, we can. So let's see. These are the three days for sure I have to work. I have these two days off. I have a day off sticker. Is that like a thing? Mm, yep, I do. Let me grab a couple of these day off stickers. 
feel like I dropped a sticker that says a pig rented. Won't say it anywhere though, so I will. Take it off. Put this here. Put this here. And this here. There we go. Take it off. And we need a tracker. So let's grab this variated tracker because that will work just fine. And this is for meds. So I'll have that one down. And let's see what other boxes that we can put down. Oh, I have my big boxes. I forgot about these. So we can put these down. Actually, let's use these to do boxes too because I'm not sure what it is that I need to do each day. But I don't know. We might use these. Since I don't have a lot to put down, I'm going to go ahead and put the bunny rabbit down on Easter. So we'll put this one down over here for Sunday. There we go. And then I'll put the egg hunt one down right beside it on Saturday. There we go. That's super cute. And let's put one down right here. I'm going to go ahead and put the with a yellow and get something bright. A yellow little bunny sticker. There we go. And let's see. I'll use these two full boxes somewhere in here because if I need to write on them again. That one. Uh, that one. There we go. So that's plenty of full boxes. I still have some more decorative ones. I feel like I could probably put one up here to cover that up. Let's see if I put this here. Yep, that works. I'll put that one right there. It covers up that ugly calendar that I can't stand. <laughs> so I have these few left. Um, so we have this down as far as the format. I really want to use these basket stickers. These are very cute. Let me go this way. Yep. Yeah. Let's put some of these down just randomly and we'll use them for something. Down there. These are super, super cute. I would like to use them. There we go. Put all of those down. And let's put these with the little peeps on it. I'm going to save the little plain one because I can use those potentially later. Thursday. I want my green one. We'll put it down for Sunday. There we go. So now we have all our boxes down. I have my tracker down. 
I have my other stickers down. I'm going to save this for another kit because I still have one more planner to plan in. And we will leave this like this. So this is what my spread is going to look like this week before the pen. So what do you guys think about it? I'm going to return my stickers back into their container. So this is my Hobie G Week setup. So this is what it looked like last week before the pen. This is what it's going to look like this week before the pen. And I didn't put an arrow for work because if I can pick up some subclasses, I'm going to. So um, that's why I left those with a blank. I'm not really sure um, if I'm going to get an extra class or two. If I can, I will. If I can't, well, then obviously I won't. But I'm going to try to. So here is this. So let's mark it. I'll fill out all of this a little later off camera. So now I'll show you my flip through for my TN. So here is my traveler's notebook. Um, and I got the blue one. I also, so I will pull this off. I get the little clip to go with it. I got the clear folder to go with it that has the zipper. I haven't put anything in it yet. Now remember, I've had this for only a couple of days and I'm still setting it up because I'm waiting for all the stuff to come in. Um, I finally got all my inserts I'm going to be using in today. So that's why I started setting some things up. So here's the monthly. Again, this monthly is going to be strictly functional because it is a traveler's notebook. So I, while I will be updating things, it'll be very minimalistic on the stickers. Okay. So that's what the monthly looks like. Here is my weekly. I have the weekly um, vertical, so and it's dated. So I'm going to try to backdate a couple of these just so I can practice. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's March. I mean, come on. But I'm going to backdate a couple of them because I can use my Hobonichi Cousin to backdate. Because I just want to practice like with my style. I'm not really sure. Like this is my first week. I backdated last week and did it. Um... Well, because I just wanted to like see like how it would be like to plan in here. These are using my fountain pens because it's fountain pen friendly paper. I smeared a few of it because I need to get a thing to put my wrist on um, so that I don't touch them. Because if you touch them before it dries, it smears. So I need to make sure I get some blotting paper to go on it to rest my hand on. But other than that, I pretty much like the like vibe that this gives off. Um, let me make sure you guys are going to frame. There we go. So I like the vibe that this gives off. Um, I put my dinners down here, put a little sticker, uh, put my tracker down here. There's plenty of room for that. Um, and then it pretty much is like just set up like my Hobonichi cousin, just the columns are narrower, but that's okay. But this is kind of like what it looked like last week. I'm also going to plan this week in. So like some of those stickers that I saved, I'm going to throw them in here, um, which is why I didn't use them all on purpose just to give it some light. And see, I'm kind of trying to keep it like a cafe kind of a vibe, keep it kind of brown and neutral colored. I'm gonna try to do that, I can't promise that. Sometimes it might be bright, sometimes it might be neutral, but this week I just felt neutral. So that's what I did. This is Easter. I don't know how I can get away from putting pastel colors on here because it's Easter. I just don't know how that's possible. <laughs> Not in do anything that's themed Easter wise. So it may end up very pastel this week. Um, there's not any more ghosting, I would say, than what is on the Hobonichi Cousin, because it ghosts as well. So, because you can see, the Hobonichi Cousin also ghosts from me last week on top of it. It's not really that big of a deal. It doesn't really bother me. Um, so I don't think it'll bother me in here either, um, because this is less ghosting in my opinion. Um, the paper is very cream, which I like. I like the cream colored paper. Because it keeps with my whole like natural looking vibe. So I'm trying to like mimic the style that I was using in Hobonichi Cousin in here. But like make it a little different. Make it a little again more cafe vibey. And free me And change some colored inks up and things like that. Which I normally don't do. So that's my first spread. And then my last booklet. And again I'm going to put stickers and stuff all over these. But I just got them today. So I haven't had time to do that. So all this will be decorated. And then this is more like my free for all. Um. Like scrapbooking I guess you would say so if I go somewhere cool like I'm gonna put like ticket stubs and things like that and tape them in glue them in whatever so this will just be a running of all of the like events that I go to or things that happen that are cool um, so ever how long that, that takes to fill that up and other than that I have the weekly calendar and then I have the monthly calendar and I'm just trying it out like I said 
um, for the rest of the year to see how I like it because um, next year I may only use this. I might not get anything else because I like the idea of being able to put multiple booklets in here because instead of this like blank booklet, I could put one specifically for work and then I could track everything together. Um, or I could put a journal in here. I could use this to journal and I could just have one planner. Like my goal is next year to have one planner. I really don't want to keep up with like 18 planners. Now, will I only have one planner next year? Likely not. But if I could get it down to two even, that would be like splendid. <laughs> so I'm trying to like play with different planners and different styles. Because this is much bigger than the Hobonichi Weeks. I really like my Hobonichi Weeks. So it's going to be hard to give that up. But I kind of like that I don't have to buy kits for this at all. Like, I like how minimal it is. I'm trying to get away from spending any money except for on the inserts. So that I can just use basic random stickers and whatnot. So, I like the idea of this. I can use highlighters, excuse me, colored inks and things like that and keep it simple. And if I do buy something, it'll be like minimal. Not like a whole like kit each week. So that's my plan. Um, and there's some storage back here too. I also have the craft folder, but I didn't like the fill of it with all of that in it because it was kind of a little too much for me. So I may trade it. I may put it in later, the craft folder, if I find a purpose for it. Um, but mostly I do all of my planning at home. Um, I'm not saying I never plan not at home. I'm just saying that most of my planning is at home. So if I need the craft folder to put stickers and stuff in, I can just like stick it in at that point. So I don't have to leave it in there all the time. Um, I got the pen holder too. The pen loop will hold any of my like pens that I like without any issue. So um, I can take a black pen with me if I need to on the go. And all of this is of course from the Traveler's Company. I also have the smaller one that I got that matches because I just figured I needed a set to try both sides sizes. Also got a pen loop for it. I'm gonna have to flip this around backwards just one second because I had it this way but then when I put it on my other folder the other way I liked it much better so 